And now, our feature presentation. Sorry about your grandson, Doc. Would you like some coffee, Mr. Stocks? Coffee? Oh, oh Dan. Uh, yes? I never really got a chance to thank you for locating my father. Well, we knew you were back east, and I remember Paul told me his grandfather was a doctor in Hollister. So. I just don't know how he walked off that field. He was limping when we got on the plane. Black down. Yeah. Mrs. Stallings? Would you uh, like to sit down? Oh, uh, no, I've been sitting on the plane for hours. 
Thanks, Biff. We're in the fourth and final period here as Cal Davis has made it all the way to the finals. A nice pick shot up the center of the goal by a Davis shot, but it's met by a Yale player very nicely and driven down the center of the field. Some hard riding there as a Yale player very severely bumps into a Cal okay, Davis okay. player. Take deep breath. Catch your breath. Take deep breath. Take your time. Catch your breath. We're here, buddy. Uh, it's, hurt. Where's it's, hurt? Uh, it's just uh, It's all right. Deep breath. <coughs> Hang on, buddy. You got him on the run. Hang on. Catch your breath. breath. <coughs> Sit up first. Don't force it. Don't force it, my huh? Come on. One more step. Come on. Come back. But he appears to be up on his feet. He's standing up. Okay, just looks like he's going to be okay. Sorry. Oh, what a break for the Cowboys from California. But he's up, and let's have a nice hand for him, ladies and gentlemen. He's done a beautiful job of coming off that spill. This Yale team wouldn't miss an opportunity to capitalize on a substitution at this stage of the game. There's about 34 seconds left on the clock. He looks a little unsteady, but he's getting to his horse. These players have come a long way from California. The first time a California team has even made it to the finals in the National Intercollegiate Polo Champions, and they're not going to be denied by a simple spill. The ball's thrown in. Davis is trying to protect that goal. There's a back shot under the pony, but Yale is turning the corner with 30 seconds left on the clock. They're trying to keep Yale away from that Davis goal. Ha, ha, ha. 
Want to use this? I'll die first. You will if you don't. Just in case. Well? Well? Not as bad as it might have been. Say it. Not good either. You suffered a compression fracture of the second lumbar vertebra with subsequent delayed hemorrhaging. Say that in English. You've broken your back. You are paralyzed from the waist down. Permanently? Permanently. Well, what, wait a minute. What about... I... Wait a minute, Doc. That, that can't be because... Uh, after, after I fell, I, I got back on the pony. We won. I remember because when I was on the, when I was on the, oh, come on, come on. Oh, God, I'm, I'm only 21 and I'm a helpless cripple. Disabled, but not helpless. Not helpless? What about the, I have to use bedpans for the rest of my life? You'll be able to use a wheelchair, go in the bathroom by yourself. You'll work things out physically, I promise you that. Physically, yeah. What about mentally? You'll work that out, too. I don't know if I want to. I'm not going to count on you. Your life as you've lived it has changed violently. Daily chores will be difficult. Difficult, but uh, eventually you learn. Go back to vet school. Because you're young. You're alive. You can see, hear, laugh, love. God. Say it. What about sex? I don't know, Paul. How come you know I can go to the bathroom, but you don't know if I can have sex? I don't know yet. In your lingo, Paul, uh, different tracks for different acts. like always you were a good teacher you were a good pupil especially the final lessons <laughs> oh Kim could you move that table down for me yeah thank you yeah. come here and kiss me whoops you just flunked kissing one What's happening? I want to tell me the truth. What's going on behind those beautiful green eyes? I just heard you're going home next week. Yeah, now you can come visit me in private. Marsha wants me to take next quarter off and go up to Aspen. You gonna go? Mm -hmm. No. I can't decide. I'm all confused. I mean, it was so simple, Paul. And now I don't know what I feel. I mean, I'm sick. I'm sick for you, and I'm sick for us. Kim, Kim, come on. Nothing's changed between us. A, a couple of dumb legs went bad, that's all. Everything else is the same. Doc said so. 
Kim, wait a second. Wait, wait. Don't pull away from me. Kim? 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 Don't forget, this is a very important race to the Americans. The winner of this race will represent us. We're going to get killed by Kenya. I know it. European trip. They went by the half mile. It's just about uh, four minute mile pace. This is uncharacteristic for Mike Boyd. He usually, uh, in past years, has. Did you hear from Kim? Do you need anything? And he's really picked it up now. They're starting to string out, and Wilson Wagler is going to have to make up. Not an easy thing to do. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Is Kim there? The whole polo club is here. Where is she? I've been calling all week. You're a roommate. Didn't you give her my messages? She went where? No, there's no message. Look at that. This is your little buddy for all eternity. The champion college polo player, 1975. Yeah? I remember. Is that all you got to say? I remember? Man, we've been on the mountain. You were there. Uh uh, we were there. Yeah, we were there. You know something? We will return, right? We will return. We will return. Holy! The thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. The agony of defeat. The human drama of athletic competition. Do you think Grandpa would let me come stay at the farm, knowing the way I am? This is a working day. <laughs> Your dad's right. You gotta go to work. There you go. Thanks. But you know, only me even about 35 fractions. Huh? Wait a See you later. Come on. Yes. That's not knocking you here. That's my uh, kidney stones rattling.
His Majesty is up. Don't baby him. I don't baby men, including you. My cousin Manuel, the philosopher, he always said that if you baby men, men become babies. Ah, Manuel, uh, the Canute Rockney of Santa Dominguez. Santo Domingo. Breakfast is ready, Your Majesty. Did you hear me? Do you wish me to help you? No, I'm fine. Today you'll eat at the table by the window. Such a nice, bright, new day. You can see the trotting horses. Trotting. Well, get ready. I'm coming up skipping and jumping to greet the nice, bright, new day. Don't be that way, Pablito. All right, how about if I come out normally, crawling like a lizard? Use the wheelchair. It's a prison. It's freedom from this room. It's for cripples, and I'm only disabled. Ask Doc. Not bad. You do falls better than Red Skelton. So why aren't you laughing, Consuelo? Oh, I am. Only it's a Mexican laugh. Silent. Probably illegal. <laughs> aren't you staying for my next act? your knee back down every night it's the same routine doc it's a waste of time push it down their girlish contour. Big deal. Yes, it is a big deal. And uh, good old country doctor that I am, I have prescribed something for that. You take these three times a day and at bedtime. Yes, doctor. You promise it'll make me walk. I can't believe you. You're the competitor that accepts any challenge. You knocked off Yale, didn't you? Stop crawling and get with it. Competitors need competition. Compete against whom, Doc? 
The toughest opponent that you've ever faced, Paul Stallings, mean, stubborn as sin, and dead set on rotting away right here in this room. Judy, you know what I'd do to you? I've been training that horse for six months. Now I'm going to have to start all over again. Why don't you get off your big duff and come down here and help me chase my horse? If you had any guts, you'd come down here so I could punch you in the face. I dare you! No apology, no explanation. He just sat there with this idiot grin on his face. Well, you sure pinned his ears back. That's my money. Oh, wouldn't you have? Darn right. That's the way I brought you up. You don't have to take any bull from anybody. I don't care who he is or what he is or how he is. Right, am I missing something? Uh, not much. Look, you two know something that I don't. What is it? Well, the boy is Doc's grandson. He's recuperating from a bad fall. No, no, no. See, he was sitting upright at the window. In his wheelchair. Oh. Oh, that's Paul. Oh. What do you mean, recuperating from a fall? That's the boy that was paralyzed in that polo match. Marnie, now hold on. There's no cause to... No cause. The things I said to him, the names that I called him... I yelled at him to come down and chase Sandy. Oh. Come on, Marnie. You reacted normally. You didn't know about him. Maybe you wouldn't apologize, but I've got to. Marty, come back here and finish your lunch. Come on. He could have killed you and Dandy both. He's the one that should apologize, not you. The Ford Motor Company Sneaky Squeak Test. What they do is they sneak a car, any car, off the Ford Mercury or Lincoln production line and drive it to the sneaky squeak testing machine. It's like bumping along over potholes and rugged roads. Then they listen for squeaks, sometimes with a stethoscope. Now, if it don't pass the test, back it goes. Ford Motor Company tries hard to keep squeaks from sneaking by. It's simple. Ford wants to be your car company. Beauty or Pure Johnson's Baby Oil from Johnson & Johnson. Monday, America's favorite family movie comes to television. An inspiring true story. The adventures of the wilderness family. Then it's every man's dream. Two women for the price of one. Full steam ahead. On a special fantasy island. Tomorrow on ABC. Tuesday. What do you think, Fonz? Can, can you fix him up with a date? Uh, Fonzie's little black book comes to Al's rescue. Whoa, he's got to try. Happy days. Then, 
Laverne's nightmare becomes a look at life in the future. Hello. It's a double ring dream come true on Laverne and Shirley. Then it's Jack's birthday and Chrissy's the surprise on Three's Company. Black hand save Red Nick. And Jasper's so grateful he's moving in on Carter Country. Watch Tuesday starting at 8, 7 Central and Mountain on ABC. Looking girl. I'm not home. Why don't you shave and put on a nice shirt? I don't have a nice shirt. She's a very pretty girl. Listen, why don't you get lost? Such a baby. I'm sorry, Senorita. His Majesty hasn't seen anybody today. But I gotta see him. I gotta explain him that I didn't know. Excuse that. me. Uh, who is it? It's Jimmy. Glassworks. Broken window. Come on in. It's in the den. The window on the side. Oh, wait a minute. Who is it? It's Jimmy. Replacing the window. Come in. Excuse me, sir, could you tell me how the window got broke? Does it matter? Just fix it, please. Oh, well, sir, I'll keep a record on how windows get broke. See, I'm writing a book called Pains in the Glass. I've known, and I heard this story, but... The... You got a hell of a nerve, you know that? <laughs> well, I know I'm sorry about this, but I, I really, I wanted to apologize. For what? For yelling and carrying on like I did. See, I didn't Stop know... right there. Now, if I wasn't in this wheelchair, you wouldn't be here apologizing. It just so happened I spooked your horse, and I don't want your damn apology. So I understand how you feel. I you do. understand how I feel? You do, huh? Well, that's nice to know. So why don't you just take yourself and your little fun and games and split? I, I came here out, 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 of, out of sympathy to apologize. I don't want your apology. I don't want your sympathy. I don't want you here. Can I get any plainer than that? Couldn't get any more rude, I... Grateful beast. I'm feeling exactly. But stop that. You just said she was an ungrateful beast. No, no, no. I was talking about Paul Stallings. You were? Where was I? He thinks a wheelchair gives him a license to be rude. He thinks the lady doth protest too much. You really think I'm overreacting? You bet you are. Listen, why don't you say we just forget that poor guy and go to the beach for a swim, huh? Oh, don't, don't, David! Let's go to the beach. Oh. You want to go to the beach? No. Okay, I'll settle for the halo. Don't, no, come on. Morning, why don't we just do it? We'll just go to Las Vegas tonight and get married, huh? What about all those long talks about waiting till I graduated? Uh, I... Just four years seems so very long now. Well, if I can wait, so can you. But if there's nothing in our way, why should we wait? Oh, David, I've told you. I need more time to be sure that what we've got is more than just sex. David, please, if I don't want to just drift into marriage, if I want to stand back and take a second look at us, I've got a right to. Okay? Of course you got a right. You're my girl, right? And my girl does whatever she wants, right? All right, well, then your girl wants to pick uh, this ruby. Uh, uh, allow me. Mm. In his room, tied to that wheelchair, it's it's like Miss Ruby in her stall. I know what you are, a bleeding heart, a certified bleeding heart. You remember that colt that was born deformed? You cried to save him, and, and when he couldn't walk, we had to put him down. What does that have to do with Paul Stallings? He's had this rotten accident. He's still a human being, and no one's going to put him down. English. 
wish. Michiganer. Touche. Three sentences and we've crossed three continents. Where's the boy? I got a surprise for him. He's in his room. Paul! Hey, Paul! Come on out! Fast! See you outside! What surprise? Never mind. Just get him out there in a hurry. Paul! Come on, come on! Don't push, Connie. I can do it myself, I'm all right? I'm not pushing you. I'm only walking behind you. All right. Now, keep your eyes peeled. Technology, rise again. Focus, focus. Floor fell out. Hydraulic lift. You and your medical terms. Come on, try it and see how it works. Yeah, it seems to work okay. Come on. Hey, wait a minute, Doc. I really appreciate this, but I'm not interested. But I am. Now, you see this lever here? See where it says up? Try that. Watch your feet. Put All right, it won't bite you. Go on. Now, roll on in, see if there's any bumps. Let's duck your head. Well? Well? That's neat, it's pretty neat. Now, see this dual control right here? This one? Yeah. Hit the one that says platform fold. All right, now the doors. There's a front door and a rear door. Hit the rear door first. All right. Oh, time to take a little spin. Got to use psychology. Common sense isn't bad either. Why'd you move up front here? You had a better view of the countryside. The lever down here. Seat swivels. Here. country you got around here, partner. Say nothing, you big city folks are cotton to, I reckon. Well, never can tell. Some big city folks might take to it just fine. Never can tell. True. Never can tell about city folks. Never can tell. Visitors outside, your majesty. Who are they? They didn't say. I didn't ask. Why not? You're not exactly overcome with callers. Some housekeeper, you don't even ask the names. I'm an in housekeeper, I'm not an out housekeeper. Connie, will you stop pushing me at people? I'm not pushing you, I'm walking behind you. Dan? Biff, where are you guys? Dan? Hey, what are you guys doing here? Came to play polo. Where? Pebble Beach. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, don't just sit there. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, don't turn it up. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, my ball, my ball, my ball. Oh, let's go. Come on. Get a ball. Hey, up the ball. Up the ball. You can't do that. Come on. 
Coming to. Come on, Lucy. <laughs> hey, what are you pulling on, man? Oh, what's that? Listen, Connie, you gotta do something to stop this rain. You have a rain dance, don't you have a stop rain dance? Oh, si, senor, anything to keep the turistas happy. Dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up. Well, that's another tradition shot to hell. Oh, you didn't like it, huh? Step aside, old lady. Let the new breed show you the scientific way. All right. Rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. Rain. I wonder how the manager clinic would handle this. <laughs> hey, Doc, you going out? Yeah, the joy of being a country doctor. Not without me or not? It's awful wet out there. It ain't so dry in here. What is it? You nervous about a little rain? I just keep thinking, uh, what if this chariot gets stuck in the mud? Yeah. I'm gonna have to carry you home. <laughs> no way I'll wheel you home.
just fine. I know, I know. Expect if others have to worry for two. you like to talk to, the doctor or the driving instructor? Oh, the driving instructor. Just a minute. It's for you. Hey, Connie, is it that girl? I am a housekeeper, and sometimes I am a nurse, but I am never, ever a tattletale. Connie, tell me what she said. My cousin Manuel, the philosopher, he once told me silence is silver. That's golden. In Mexico, it's silver. Hello? Hi, how you doing? Fine. Great. Listen, uh, thanks for, uh... Oh, it's okay. I just called to see how you're doing. Well, I'm doing fine. Hey, I'm sorry about my behavior. I, I guess it was pretty rank. <laughs> that's okay, don't worry about it. Well, um, thanks again, and, uh, that's when I owe you. Well, careful, I collect that. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Connie! Where's my breakfast? I'm taking so long. Consuela! Consuela! I call that... Whack, this cash is killing me! If it doesn't, I will. Hey! Problem here, Marty. There's a little uh, stone in the frog. See that? Yeah, you're pretty good. You saw his lane from that far away. Yeah, hand me the pick, please. Thank you. Should be a vet. Well, I was in pre vet at Davis. You going back? Not for a while. There you are, Miss Clarkson. No fee for free by your own private personal hoof picker. <laughs> That's starting at the bottom. Well, you got to start someplace. That's true. And as soon as you're back on your feet again. I can work myself up to the tail. Forget it. Don't start weighing words. Hi. Hi. Uh, David, this is Paul Stallings, Doc's grandson. This is David Lyle, our neighbor and uh, summertime ranch manager and second-year Harvard Law. And your fella, huh? 
Nice to meet you, David. Yeah, I heard a lot about you. You're the guy who throws barbells through windows. Yeah, well, I love the sound of breaking glass, you see. <laughs> but my timing was lousy. Oh, it could have been worse. At least we got to know each other. Hey, you ought to put a motor on that thing. Uh, it'd be a lot easier for you. Well, things are easy enough. Hmm. Well, listen, I told your father I'd help him with the auction consignment, so uh, if you need anything, you tell her and I'll do my best, okay? See you at dinner. Nice meeting you, David. Yeah, come on. He's a nice fella. Yeah, he is. Is he your fella? I've known him a long time. Oh, Mr. Vett, what do you know about polling? It's what the mayor knows that counts. Oh, Jose. Listen, I never thanked you for rescuing Doc. Oh, they're not. He's a good man. Not at best. He walks eight miles a day between here and home. Lucky man. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yes, good. Let's see. Ah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Probably about to fold in two, three weeks. What very me. Brought her into the world, and suddenly, three years later, the mother. It's amazing how time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> hey, Miss Ruby, how you doing? Come here. Come here. Oh. I was a real tomboy, and I still love the outdoor life. But there's a side of me that wants to be very soft and pretty, especially my hair. That's why I like Nice and Easy. It gives me fabulous highlights. It's got the conditioners I need, and the color looks so natural. It lets me be me. I guess that's why Nice and Easy is the world's best-selling hair color. How effective is Van Rolon? I found out the week I went back to college for my class reunion. I remembered the yearbook, but forgot the Van Rolon. My old roommate offered me her secret aerosol, so I used it for a while. But you know, it just didn't keep me as dry as Van Rolon. I'm told Van Rolon keeps you drier than any leading spray. And I believe it. Van Rolon. If you're using any leading spray, find out for yourself how effective Van Rolon is. This is the Triumph Spitfire, Sports Car Club of America class champion for the 10th year. A classic example of the survival of the fittest. Strong survivor of an all but vanished breed, the Roadster. Intimate by design, the Spitfire offers the luxury of the maximum amount of driving pleasure for two. You, and perhaps someone you're especially fond of. The Triumph Spitfire Roadster, from British Leyland. Thanks for keeping Bobby tonight, Marge. You got everything? Pajamas, toothbrush, and aim. Aim? 
Aim tastes good. Taste won't fight cavities. Fluoride fights cavities. Aim has fluoride. See? Aim fights cavities. And he likes it, so he may be brushing longer. I know he gets one good checkup after another. Can I try AIM too, Mom? Since AIM means good checkups, you sure can. Take AIM against cavities. This Monday, the movie your whole family will love. The Adventures of the Wilderness Family. They left civilization to make an exciting new life in the wilderness. It's the thrilling story of how they survived and became one with the land. Jenny! This Monday, The Adventures of the Wilderness Family at 8, 7 Central and Mountain on ABC. couldn't have done that himself. It's impossible. Yeah, he's done it. Takes a lot of guts. You gotta give him that. Oh, I can't stand it. What if the horse broke stride and the sulky turned over? Barney? Careful. Don't spook the horse. Mr. Clarkson. Oh. Nice to meet you. Heard a lot about you from, from Marnie. Oh, yeah? Yeah, sorry to hear about your accident. You know, my sympathies go out to you. Well, thank you. <laughs> they, uh, gonna offer you any hope? Well, there's always hope. Listen, that business out there this morning with the sulky, is it your idea? Yeah, sort of. I got Jose to help me. Hey, that takes spunk. I admire that. Well, it's kind of stupid. <laughs> Come visit any time. Oh, well, thank you. Good night, sir. Good night. Hello. Hi, what are you doing? Reading. Ah, it's too heavy for a hot day. How about a cool swim with a hot chick? I'd love to, but I'm waiting for a phone call from President Carter. So we'll call back. Come on, come swimming. Uh, I gotta finish Freud's Psychology of Sex. Oh, yeah? Which volume? Ten. There were only seven. Come on, come on, come swimming. Uh, Marty, I don't know whether I'll sink or swim. I'll be there to save you. Marty, I haven't any trunks. It's a deal. Forget it. Who is it? Room service. What do you want? Said you didn't have any. I lied. Put them on, let's go swimming. No, I gave up swimming for Lent. Put them on. Marty, I'm not going swimming. Why, are you afraid to swim? No, I'm not afraid to swim. Then what? Nothing. Something. Nothing! Is it your legs? 
Are you ashamed of my seeing your legs? I'm not going swimming. Why don't you answer my question? Why don't you split and take your damn trunks with you? Well, you chased me out the first time I came over here. No more. So I will not split and I will not shut up. And I'm here until you tell me why you won't go swimming with me today. Okay. Well, you guessed it. I just don't... I'm... I'm... I don't want you to see my, uh... Amazing shrinking legs. Is that what you think of me? You think your amazing shrinking legs are going to turn me off? I've seen it happen before. No, not with me. Now put those on and let's go. Come on, Marty. What are you doing? Are you nuts? Are you Don't come, come on. on. Come on, Marty. Let me get them. Hey. All right, all right. I'll do it. I'll meet you at the pool. In ten minutes or I will be back with scissors. Thanks. Hey, come on in. I'm thinking about it. Oh, come on. It's great. Don't worry, I'm a Red Cross lifesaver. Yeah, I'll count on that. Well, could you make it today, huh? Oh, come on, hurry up. Let me try something else. Okay. Watch this. All right. Watch it. I'm always all right. Sometimes even more all right than others. I wish my mix baked up this moist. Well, yours is moist. It's just not super moist. New super moist is the name of a whole new kind of layer cake mix from Betty Crocker. Hmm. My wife's cake is really moist. It's super moist. Hmm. Huh? What? New super moist has special pudding in the mix to make it unbelievably moist. Mm. Glad I switched mixes. The old ones are moist. But they're not super moist. Other cake mixes may be moist, but they're not super moist. The first thing you notice about the big shaver is that the handle is hollow, practically worthless. Bic put the money into their top quality bonded stainless steel blade. That's why Bic can charge only 19 and 3 quarter cents a shaver. And each one gives you days and days of close, comfortable shaves. The Bic shaver, hollow handle, superior blade, incredible price. Ford Motor Company hates rust. To fight rust, they do a lot of testing. Test cars get humidified for 22 hours, sprayed and splashed in salt water, splattered with salty mud, and then, except for the mud, they do it all over.
over again. Dance the time. That's what they do to test Ford, Mercury, and Lincoln cars for rust resistance. It's simple. Ford wants to be your car company. Here's two good friends. Tonight is kind of special. Hey, there he is. Hey, you got here early. Al, two more loan rounds. Loan rounds. Oh, oh, oh. Well, isn't that so what we do to sales managers drink? Sales managers. You? You got it. I got it. You got it. Right. You got it. <laughs> when you want the taste of a truly great beer, tonight, let it be low and brow. Congratulations, Big Shad. And I suppose you're going to forget your friends now. So probably. Yesterday Behind, starring Carrie Fisher and John Ritter, will continue in a moment. Tuesday morning, All My Children challenges one life to live in another Family Feud special. Koch says the city's payroll is not padded. The flash flood watch continues. No relief in sight from the rain. Details at 11.15. At Sims, we want you ladies to know about our automatic markdown system on all dresses, pantsuits, and ensembles. When we receive a $60 dress, pantsuit, or ensemble, we price it at $39. If it remains on the selling floor for more than 10 days, we mark it $32. More than 20 days, $25. And after 30 days, it becomes final at $19. At Sims, an educated consumer is our best customer. Nothing else is quite like friendship, friendship. Nothing else is quite like friendship. If you think all cottage cheese tastes the same, you haven't tasted Friendship Cottage Cheese. All natural friendship has a taste that stands alone. That's why friendship is number one. Nothing else is quite like friendship, friendship. Nothing else is quite... Burt Reynolds, Monday on the 430 Movie. We return now to Carrie Fisher, starring in Leave Yesterday Behind. Wait. I can do that. All right, I got it. Uh, Errol Flynn, I'd know you anywhere. Because I always get the girl, right? Right? Oh, oh, come on, you're all sweaty. I used to turn you on. How's Paul? He's all right, I guess. I guess, don't you know? You see him every day. Well, he comes over, he's lonely. That makes two of us. Paul's just helping me train Dandy for the picnic race. He's got a real way with horses, you know? It's like a, a seventh sense. Maybe that's what they mean by horse sense, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, he must have some. I don't know what. Oh, he's a nice, interesting guy. Look, I got a hungry trotter waiting for me. I'll see you at dinner, okay? You sure I'm invited? Now that's a pitiful remark. You're one of the family. Is that a promise? Is that your problem? Yeah. She's in a good position. 
Come on, Marty. Watch the lap. Watch the lap. I saw. Well, no kiss for the winner? You didn't miss a kiss. Oh, so that's it. Hey, hey, Marty. What? Oh, no, it's okay. You didn't make this. You did? I wanted you to have a trophy even if you lost. You're incredible. I mean, it's beautiful. I... But it's not enough, you know. Why? What's wrong with it? I want my kiss. Come on. I want my Marnie, kiss. Marnie, come on. There's people all hey. around. Okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, you. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I thought it did real good. Quarter pound. Yeah. Here. Pull them off and rub them down, okay. will you? Come on, Daddy. <laughs> well, well, well. Oh, I was just thanking Paul for his gift. Well, from the depth of your appreciation, it must be something special. Right? Oh, it is. He made it. Hmm? Not bad. Not bad at all. Thank you. <laughs> Fact is, if I saw this in a store window, I might buy it. Thanks. Say, you know, we have a real fine rehabilitation center in town. I'm a sponsor. Yeah. Great handicraft program. Might be able to do something to help you. Uh, we've got to go see Miss Ruby. Come on. Well, no, uh, I already checked on Miss Ruby. Her udders haven't waxed up yet, and the foal's too far forward, so it'll be a while. It's real good for a Davis pre-vet. <laughs> see, see this? I got this down there at the center from a handicapped Indian. He wanted ten bucks for it. I gave him twenty.
Well, what's with him, huh? You did that on purpose. Could you tell me why you did that? What are you talking about? I told him I admired him. What, did I hurt his feelings or something? Forget it. No matter how hard you tried, he's too much for a man to let you get to him anyway. <laughs> Marnie. Marnie. Uh, then just come over here a minute. I did not do a damn thing to him. It is you. If you can't see what you did, I can. You're the one who made the poor fool fall in love with you. What? You heard me. You deliberately teased him into falling in love with you. Well, it's hard to believe that he'd fall in love with the daughter of someone as completely insensitive as you. Marnie. First you say I insulted him. And now you insult me. Listen, don't let this cripple come between us, will you? I'm not here to apologize to my father. Thanks. You can tell him he can stick it. Why didn't you? Go away, Marnie, would you please? Look, if it's not my father, then what is upsetting you? What makes you think I'm upset? But just because one day I'm walking and the next day I'm not, is that any reason for me to get upset? Okay. That's yesterday's news. Today, you can do anything. What does that mean? Anything. Ride a sulky. Swim. Save Doc's life. You get... Don't make me out some dumb hero. I'm nothing. I am not making you out a hero. Oh, please. That accident didn't make you less. It, it made you more of a man than any man I know. Paul. Marnie, I don't need to hear this. I, I'm in love with you, and I'm scared that... Marnie, don't you know what you've done? You've made me up. See, I don't exist. It's just one big joke. That's all. Look at me. It's just one big, incredible, cosmic joke. You know, I keep, I keep waiting for the day where the joke will be over and everything will be like it was. And uh, But every day, the sun keeps coming up. And I, I wonder how I'm going to make it through the day. Or why I shouldn't even try to... <laughs> well, congratulations. You just met the real Paul Stallings, full of self-pity and self-hate. You still think that who you are is just your body? Oh, my... Grow up and face the facts. What kind of a life would you have with me pushing a, a, a wheelchair around? I'm not afraid of it. Oh, for sakes, Marty, look at me. Why are you rejecting me? Just yes. look at me. Are you afraid of me? Will you look at me? I haven't even asked you to love me. Don't you understand? I can't even have sex. I, I don't believe that. You, don't, you, you know more than I do? There's only one way to find out. <sighs> oh, no more, Marty, please. I just can't. I, I don't, I'm asking you to leave now. Go away, please. Just go away. Come on. Now. This is the pine saw that cleans the dirt and cuts the grease and kills the germs that can cause the odors in your house. This is the pine saw that cleans the grime and stops the mold and mildew too in your house. This is the pine saw that cleans the rooms and kills the germs and leaves a scent so fresh and clean in your house. Let pine saw liquid clean, disinfect and deodorize anywhere in your house.
How did Pinto get to be the best-selling wagon in its class? It was easy. Easy on the eye. Just take a look at this great new Pinto Squire. It's easy to load. And roomy, too. It's easy on gas. And it's fun to drive. It's easy to buy. How did Pinto get to be the best-selling wagon in its class? It was easy. Ford Pinto Wagon. At Ford dealers, the better ideas keep coming. Monday, America's favorite family movie comes to television. An inspiring true story. The Adventures of the Wilderness Family. Then it's every man's dream. Two women for the price of one. Full steam ahead. On a special fantasy island. Tomorrow on ABC. Wednesday. There's something very special when the Carpenters have a fantastic space encounter with John Davidson and Three's Company, Suzanne Somers. Then, there's nothing more special than Olivia Newton-John with Andy Gibb and Abba. Carpenters and Olivia, Wednesday, there's something special. Right here on ABC. I knew I'd find you here. Been busy, huh? All prepared? And all disinfected, too, if I know you. Well, you're just gonna have to do it again. Tomorrow, or the next day, or the next, I... I just came down to see how she's doing. to apologize for slapping you. Accepted. But that does not mean that I've changed my feelings about Paul. Accepted. Well, Marnie, where's all this going to place you and David? <sighs> this much I know. I do not love him, and I am not going to marry him. <sighs> At your age, how much can you know about love? Not much. But I'm learning. Who's your teacher? A wheelchair? Marty, listen to me. I'm not going to let you throw your life away on half a man. That's a terrible thing to say. All right, agreed, but it's the simple truth. Everything is simple with you, right? Black or white, don't you ever have doubts? Aren't you ever confused? <laughs> maybe, maybe I do love him for what he's become. Maybe I'm making a mistake. But if I am, it's my mistake. It's not yours, it's not David's, it's mine. I love Paul, and I'm scared that he doesn't love me enough to take a chance on us. Come on, you listen. Oh! David, you have to fly back east today. I mean, couldn't you at least wait till Miss Ruby falls? No way of knowing. All oh, right. That's what Paul said. Paul, yeah, there's that magic name again. David, I'm sorry. I'm just I, I... sorry. You don't see me. You don't hear me. You don't even know I exist. Look, I, I know I lied to you last year when I told you I loved you, but I lied to myself, too. See, I guess I just wanted so much to be in love. All I wanted was a, a nice, decent guy to be faithful to, and you were right there. Marnie, you're in love with a wheelchair. No, I'm in love with Paul. He says he won't have me. Won't have you, Marnie. He can't have you. At least he's honest. What are you going to do about it, Marnie? About what? About sex. When two people care about each other, the rest follows. One way or another. Let's go. Uh, abstraction. See, 
when something doesn't work out, it's an abstraction. We all make mistakes. We sure do. I never intended to love her. I know that. She love you? Yeah. Then what's the problem? Well, for openers, how can I sentence her to push in a wheelchair for the rest of her life? Doc, I can't do that. No, that's right, you can't. But she's an honest girl. If she gets tired, she'll quit. Then what happens? You? You'll suffer. But you're a survivor. You'll start over. Again. Again. And again. Man, ain't life a ball. Yeah, looking back, uh, I would say that's true. Yeah, but Doc, you're looking back on marriage and kids and the whole thing. I can't. See, Doc, it's not just the wheelchair, you know? It's, 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 it's a... You, you remember that time in the hospital when I asked you about sex and you brushed me off with some line like, different tracks for different acts? I didn't mean to brush you off. No, I know, Doc. That's not the point. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is, for me, there, there is no track. You know, the road's closed. I know that. It's possible, but uh, in young men, it's usually temporary. It's brought on by fear. Fear that nothing will happen. Okay, that, I admit I'm scared. But I got every reason to be scared. I just, what the hell am I gonna do? Don't back off. Don't back off. If it's for me, I'm not here. I'm going to bed. This cast is killing me. Yeah, I've worked with vets every summer. Uh, okay, um, yeah, I'll, as soon as I can, I'll, I'll get some stuff from Doc. Right, all right. You said the water broke. What was that? About an hour ago. Not even a sign of the call yet. She's had a lot of trouble. The vet's all the way down in Hooper's Lamp. He won't be here at all? Well, not for a couple of hours. I just hope that she'll be able to live through it. Where's Marnie? Marnie took David to the airport. <laughs> took Stallings there. So to that, I well, appreciate you coming. I mean, I'm really grateful. I... <laughs> I'm taking a lot of fools alone. This man's easy. He's having trouble. He kicked off one of my knuckles there when I was wrapping the table. Easy. I mean, you, you've got both hands and both arms. He's going down. Easy, easy now. What's that? That's uh, doc stuff. It's for the pain. I don't want to knock her out. Oh, oh easy, Ruby, easy. All right. Well, let's go. All right, here. OK, you can get the chloral.
Hold the head still. Oh. Hold the head still. Hold the head still. Right. Here. I need some disinfectant. Get the disinfectant. All right. All right. You hold still now, Miss Ruby. All right, here you are. Here's some lubes. through more of these than I have, so you're going to have to talk me through. All right? All right, I'll do what I can. Yeah. Uh, she's not looking good. Looks like she's going downhill, right? Any, any sign of the call yet? No. It's a real narrow pelvis. All right, now see if you can feel the front feet. Yeah. You feel them? Yeah. Wait, no. No, I only, I only can feel one. Damn. All right, feel for the nose then. Oh. oh. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> That's another contraction. Push the nose out of the way and see if you can find the other foot. Hey. Sure. Oh. Keep your head down. Oh. All right. Well? Yeah, I touched it. I'll get it next time. Dad? Marty, go back! Dad? It's about time. I spilled some water. I want some more water and get me a towel. Hurry. I'll get it. Marty, we was having a hard time. Now why don't you go on to the house? I've been in Falling Barn since I was ten. That's my mayor, my problem. All right, now. I think I got the joint. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I'm moving the foreleg. It's coming. You're doing fine, Ruby. It's straight. You're doing fine, Ruby. Easy. Okay, I can feel the call. She's tired. She's so tired. It's coming fast. I need a long rope. A rope? I need a rope now. Marty? Come on, get me the rope. <laughs> oh. Come on. Come on, get it. Oh. Oh. Hurry. She's tired. Take it easy, Miss Ruby. You got it? Yeah. All right, loop it under my arms. Loop it under my arms. Easy does it. Is it okay? Easy. Okay. I want you to anchor me. Yes. All right? Yes. Now, when I pull, you pull, okay? Ready? Yeah. All right. All right. Life saving pen. It's yours. Yeah, well, who's drowning? <laughs> no one. But you saved Doc. You saved Miss Ruby. Yeah, well, you helped with the filly. Now well, we did it together. We're a doubles team. A team and a half. Now your half's gonna have to save me. From what? Loving a guy who hates himself. 
Well, Marnie, you know, it's, uh, the hate's pretty much gone now. It's just, uh... What? Tell me. It's, uh... It's a fear. It's just this constant fear. both of us we work together sure we'll have problems but we'll work them out but Marnie I don't know if I can deal with those problems I don't know if I can deal with never being able to ride a horse again or never being able to ski again or never being able to dance again and I'll tell you something little girl I want to dance with you, and I never will, you know? You got to hear me. I didn't fall in love with your eyes or your hands, or did I? I fell in love with you. Busted games and all. You think you're gonna keep me out of my dance? Get out of your mind. Wait a minute. What? What are you doing, honey? What? I'm David Hartman. On Monday, we'll talk with James Brolin, formerly of Marcus Welby, and President Carter's nephew, who is in prison. That's Monday on Good Morning America on ABC. New laughs, new drama Tuesday. First, Chrissy does her best to make Jack forget an old flame on Three's Company. Then Jasper gives Curtis the surprise of his life on Carter Country. And a dramatic turn of events forces Kate and Doug to reappraise their lives on family. Watch Tuesday here on ABC.